Welcome to Voice of Africa. In today's video, we bring you a story that truly captures the heartbeat of Burkina Faso's transformation. A story that shows how the spirit of innovation, creativity, and patriotism is shaping the country's future. Before we begin, please take a moment to like this video so that YouTube recommends it to more people who care about Africa's rise. Now, let's dive into a powerful example of what it means when leadership meets local talent. When Captain Ibrahim Traore, the president of Burkina Faso, speaks about innovation, creativity, and commitment, his words do not fall on deaf ears. They awaken a new energy among the nation's youth, a generation determined to build, create, and redefine the country's future with their own hands. Across the land, young Burkina Bay men and women are responding to the call, and among them are two remarkable innovators whose story is inspiring the entire nation. In a modest workshop in Ouagadougou, two young Burkina Bay engineers, Alexandre Wamdaugo and Toussaint, are quietly building what could transform Burkina Faso's technological landscape. With simple tools, limited resources, and limitless imagination, these young inventors have developed advanced drones that can serve both civilian and military purposes. Their project reflects the power of self-reliance, the very spirit that Captain Traoré has been encouraging since he came to power. As they proudly display one of their creations, Alexandra explains that the drone was designed entirely on Burkina Bay soil. From the body to the visible components, everything was made here, he says with confidence. The only parts we had to buy were the motors and a few electronic pieces, but even those are temporary. We plan to design our own soon. This small team didn't just assemble parts. They engineered everything from scratch. They studied aerodynamics, calculated the wing geometry, and built the mechanical systems themselves. It's a level of ingenuity that shows just how much potential lies in Africa's youth when they are given the freedom and confidence to create. The drone is not just a piece of machinery. It's a multifunctional tool with vast potential. It's equipped with a camera that can be used for aerial surveillance, mapping, and agriculture monitoring. Through artificial intelligence integrated into the camera system, it can also detect specific objects or anomalies. For example, if it's used to monitor high-voltage power lines, the AI can identify damage or risks automatically. This blend of local craftsmanship and advanced technology is something rarely seen in developing nations, making the project even more groundbreaking. What makes this story even more inspiring is the simplicity of their workspace. It's not a high-tech laboratory funded by big corporations. It's a modest local workshop, a symbol of Burkina Bay resilience and determination. In that humble space, two young men are building machines capable of serving their nation's defense, agriculture, and infrastructure sectors. But this is just the beginning of their journey. Beyond their first prototype, the team has already completed another model called KUA-88, which was designed for reconnaissance missions. They also built the Coca-88, another drone specialized for aerial surveillance and field inspections. The difference with this model is that it doesn't take off vertically. It must be launched manually or catapulted into the air. This limitation, however, doesn't stop them from improving it further. Every challenge they face becomes a lesson, every obstacle a new motivation. The most remarkable of their creation so far is the Piga drone, a model designed specifically to support the Burkina Bay Defense and Security Forces in their fight against terrorism. The Piga drone is equipped with a metal detection sensor that allows it to locate improvised explosive devices, IEDs, hidden underground. We designed this drone to detect buried mines, they explain. It uses a special detector that scans the soil from above. Since mines often contain metallic components, the drone can identify them using this system. In a country that has faced years of terrorist threats and instability, this kind of local innovation is more than just technology. It's a lifeline. 
Every locally made drone means greater autonomy, better intelligence, and fewer risks for soldiers on the ground. Instead of depending on foreign-made machines that are expensive and difficult to maintain, Burkina Faso is slowly building its own technological base. Both inventors are part of the company VicBA Eco Technology, a small but ambitious firm that symbolizes the new wave of African startups focusing on practical innovation. Toussaint is a computer engineer specialized in networks and telecommunications, responsible for developing Internet of Things IoT solutions. Alexandra, on the other hand, doesn't have a university degree. After completing his high school studies, he trained himself through self-education, using online resources and experimentation to become an aeronautical engineer specializing in drone design. Their story challenges the conventional idea that innovation requires a foreign education or a massive budget. Instead, it proves that what truly matters is determination, curiosity, and the will to serve one's country. With minimal resources, they have managed to build functional drones capable of addressing real national challenges, from agricultural development to security operations. These young men represent more than just personal success. They embody the message that Captain Ibrahim Traoré has been emphasizing. Burkina Faso's future lies in the hands of its own people. When citizens harness their creativity and work together, the nation can rise on its own foundation. The impact of their work extends beyond technology. It also carries deep symbolic meaning for a generation that is often told to look abroad for opportunity. Alexandre and Toussaint are proving that Africa's progress will not come from outside help. It will come from within, from the determination of its people to innovate and to believe in themselves. Their project is already drawing attention from national institutions interested in using their drones for surveillance, mapping, and infrastructure inspection. Agricultural agencies are exploring partnerships to use their drones for soil analysis and crop monitoring, which could revolutionize farming in Burkina Faso. On the defense side, the local production of drones means the country can adapt quickly to its own needs. Instead of waiting for imports that may be delayed or restricted, local engineers can upgrade and repair their drones based on real battlefield experiences. This self-sufficiency marks a significant step toward technological sovereignty, something that many African nations aspire to achieve. What's even more encouraging is the mindset of these innovators. They see their work not as a personal achievement, but as part of a larger national mission. They believe their inventions can inspire other young Africans to take up science, engineering, and technology as tools of empowerment. We want to show that you don't need to go abroad to make a difference, says Alexandra. Everything you need to start is already here in our country. The story of these two young Burkina Bay engineers is a powerful reminder that Africa's most valuable resource is not underground. It's in the minds of its youth. Their courage, creativity, and resilience are shaping a new narrative for the continent, one where Africa builds its own solutions, crafts its own technologies, and defines its own destiny. In the end, this is not just a story about drones. It's a story about hope, innovation, and national pride. It's about two young men who believed in their abilities and proved that, with vision and effort, Africa can lead the way in technological development. As Burkina Faso continues its journey toward self-reliance, stories like this will become more common. The seeds of creativity have been planted, and the nation's youth are nurturing them with passion and purpose. From local workshops to national laboratories, the dream of a modern, independent Africa is taking shape, one invention at a time. If this story inspired you, Make sure to like this video and share it with others who believe in Africa's potential. Together, let's continue to celebrate the spirit of innovation, resilience, and unity that defines the new Africa. This is Voice of Africa, telling the stories that build our continent's future. Our continent